Good evening and welcome to Fox News Primetime. I'm Trey Gowdy. Thank you for watching. Your time is important and we're grateful you would spend it with us. I want you to imagine there's a file sitting on a prosecutor's desk. The decision that prosecutor makes will impact every aspect of your life. Your reputation is at stake. Your freedom is at stake. Your ability to provide for your family is at stake. Now, what are the characteristics and qualities you want in the person making these decisions that will impact your life? You want that person to be impartial. You want that person to be fair, to be guided by the facts and the law. You want that person to protect the confidentiality of the investigation, because even rumors about your case can impact your reputation. You want someone who values the truth. You want someone with the courage to make the right decision, even if it's an unpopular decision. There's an old Supreme Court case that sets out the job description of a prosecutor. It is not to win. It is not to simply get convictions. It is to be a minister of justice. I have a daughter in law school, and she's heard me say this a million times. Good prosecutors clear more innocent people in a month than defense attorneys do in a lifetime. But you have to be objective. You have to be fair, and you have to be honest. I would be hard-pressed to think of any lawyer I work with in Congress who is less qualified to be a prosecutor than Adam Schiff. Yet this week we learned he wants to be the next Attorney General of California. I get that California is progressive. I get that the next Attorney General there will not share any of my political views. I'm fine with that. But you can still find someone honest and fair and trustworthy. There are plenty of progressives who still value the truth. We had one on last night, Tulsi Gabbard. There are others. But Adam Schiff is not one of them. Here is just one example. There is circumstantial evidence of collusion. There is direct evidence, I think, of deception. This is about as clear evidence you could find of intent by the campaign to collude with the Russians. The Russians offered help. The campaign accepted help. The Russians gave help, and the president made full use of that help. The best case that the president is not an asset of the Russians is the Russians would tell him, slow down, you're too obvious. <laughs> None of that was true. It was a lie. Good prosecutors don't lie. He prom Adam Schiff promised evidence he never produced. He leaked witness interviews. He did everything he could to cover up the FISA abuse. He even went to court to keep you from finding out who paid for the dossier. He claimed he had never met with a witness, but we know he had. And when his facts weren't good, he made up new ones. And when he got caught, he called it a parody. If the Democrats were really worried about disinformation, they would have shut Adam Schiff up a long time ago. When it came time for the grand jury to meet, Adam Schiff could not convince a single Republican House member to vote his way. He couldn't even convince all the Democrats to vote his way. And when it came time for the Senate trial, he failed to persuade the jury. He didn't even come close. I know CNN thought he was dazzling, but trust me, losing the way he did is not dazzling. So now he wants to be a minister of justice. He wants to be a prosecutor. He wants to be the top prosecutor in the state of California. I can name dozens of Democrat lawyers I would trust to sit at that table and make the right decision on a case that impacted my life. But Adam Schiff is not one of them. California's next attorney general will be a progressive. I know that. But why can't it be an honest progressive? Gavin Newsom is the governor of California, at least for now he is. He gets to pick the next attorney general. Here's to hoping he picks a woman or a man worthy to be called a prosecutor, worthy of being called a minister of justice.